Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome uh, to this uh, very special evening here at what uh, is now and soon will be unveiled as Charles Tartaglia Park. Uh, it's a, it's a, yeah, how about a hand, a round of applause for Charlie for that. So as, as an opening, I'd like to just tell you a little bit about the project and what's taken place here today. And then we have a few of uh, Charlie's many friends that would like to come up and say a few words uh, before we invite uh, Charlie up himself uh, for some remarks. But uh, what you're standing on here is a project that began uh, back in 2014. Uh, we were able to successfully obtain a couple of different grants, the primary one being a park grant uh, from the state. But what's really important to know, for many of you longtime Brocktonians know, this is the uh, site of the uh, former Rosco company. And this, for many years, was a uh, polluted brownfield site. And so what you see today is after a number of years, and uh, with first being able to get a federal cleanup, uh, brownfield cleanup grant, and then the state parks grant, and then having BRA partner with us and put some CDBG money in, we finally pulled this all together to take what was a polluted, abandoned brownfield and turn it into this beautiful park that creates walkable, livable green space for the surrounding neighborhood, which, as we know, is very densely populated. And, you know, this is one of those neighborhoods that we're transforming back, and this becomes an important part of this neighborhood. So we're excited about what you see here today. As you can see, it's a passive park. It's meant for people to walk through, sit, enjoy. And uh, construction took place last year during 2016. In October of last year, uh, the city's uh, Parks Commission voted officially to name the park uh, after uh, Charles Tartaglia. Uh, that action was also nominated or seconded, whichever order they went in, by the Brockton City Council. So both uh, bodies endorsed uh, naming the park after Charlie. And uh, we had to wait until this spring for the plantings to become mature enough to bring everyone in here. But we're excited that uh, Charlie, tonight for you, were able to finally uh, dedicate uh, this park to you. I want to take a moment to recognize many of the elected officials and special guests that are here with us this evening. Uh, Councilor at Lodge Wynn Farwell is here tonight, friend of Charlie's. Ward 6 City Councilor Jack Lally is here with us tonight. Ward 5 City Councilor Ann Beauregard is here. Ann's predecessor, if I can say that, predecessor, longtime Ward 5 City Councilor Dennis DiNapoli is here with us tonight. From uh, Ward 7, Councilor Shirley Asak has joined us. From the Southeastern Regional School Committee, Mark Lindy is here. Another longtime former city councilor, Council at Lodge Todd Petty, is here with us tonight. Oh, also from the city council, I think Shana Barnes is here. And I, I pointed at Moses, but I just noticed Moses, yeah. I do know that you're Moses and you're Shana. I do understand that. I just noticed as I was thinking of you, council, I noticed Council Rodriguez, Moses Rodriguez, had also joined us here. And I suppose I have to mention the Ward 2 Councilor, Tom Monahan is here. Yeah. I'm bringing him up in a second. I think that's the VIPs. I do want to uh, explain that our state legislative delegation very much wanted to be here. They are in session right now, unable to leave Beacon Hill. Uh, but the entire delegation planned to be here and certainly... Uh, along with Tom Monahan, um, Jerry Cassidy and Mike Brady were certainly uh, instrumental uh, both in representing this area and in supporting the park being named after Charlie. So I know that they would like to be here personally, Charlie, and they'll get here at some point this evening. So we have a couple folks I do want to give an opportunity to come up and, and say a few words about Charlie because tonight, as great of a project as the park is, tonight is really about recognizing Charlie and what he's meant to the city of Brockton. So first, I would like to invite up uh, our current Ward 2 City Councilor, Tom Monahan. 
Thank you, thank you. It was a lot of work getting this park put together over the years. There were a few uh, setbacks here and there, but we did finally get it, and it came to fruition. I think, uh, really, it was a no-brainer that we should name it after Charlie for all he's done to the city, for Ward 2. He's there for everything, every. Every sports team he's, he's, he's sponsored, every time we have something down at, uh, at the park, he just gives of his time, his money, he'll give pizza, anything we ask, he's there for us. And it's really a great honor to name this park after him. Um, when we were thinking about name of the park, obviously, the, like, I think his name came up first, other than Hank Natalia, who asked me about it, but we... Um, <laughs> He quite didn't come up with enough cash, but <laughs> Hank always has cash. That's right. That's right. But um, we and we decided to name it. Uh, which, oh yeah, Charlie's Italian. Sorry. The Charles Italia Park. The only issue we had. Now we we had to go to the mayor to ask him what exactly. You know, do you think this is a good name? And he suggested it was the Charles Italia Memorial Park. But yeah. we had to remind him that he was still alive. <laughs> I told Charlie. He goes, Bill Hill. Oh, you know. <laughs> But anyway, it's just a great honor, and it's a great honor for Charlie, and he's well-deserved. And uh, Charlie, you really deserve this honor, and I'm, I'm happy we did it for you. Thank you. Hank was disappointed when he saw the sign. Yeah, <laughs> He'd heard all about Titalia Park, you know. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding, Hank. Uh, another uh, dear friend of uh, Charlie's over the years and really representing his entire family, we'd like to welcome up uh, former counselor at large, Todd Petty. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Charles Tatalia Park. Charlie, good evening. Penny, Dee Dee, David, Hank, Louie, the whole Tatalia family. Well deserved. You know, Tom Monahan mentioned uh, how Charlie is always there for everyone in terms of support. He always gives of himself. And there's one other association that Charlie is part of. The OSIA is the Order of Sons of Italy in America. And there are over 3,000 lodges across the country. And the Sons of Italy does everything it can to aid people here in the United States in terms of scholarship and any other type of uh, support they may require, as well as overseas aid, particularly the last uh, couple of earthquakes that have occurred in Italy. The Sons of Italy is always there to uh, support uh, the, uh, the rebuilding and uh, whatever uh, um, other terms of help they need over in, uh, in uh, earthquake uh, ravaged uh, communities. And in Brockton, we have the Christopher Columbus Lodge, number 216. It's uh, been in, a, in existence since uh, 1913, and our, meeting, um, our meetings are held, uh, thanks to Charlie, at, the, at George's Cafe. The first Wednesday of every month, uh, Charlie's uh, nice enough to uh, let us use the Belmont Room at, uh, at George's, and we have our meetings there, and um, that's where we get everything done. And, and Charlie is a member of our lodge, and we're, uh, we're very grateful to have him, uh, for having him in our lodge. Um, immediate past president Jacqueline Bonarigo is here. Jackie? Nice to see you. And most recently, um, I was honored uh, to be elected as the uh, president for the next two years of our lodge. And as the president, representing our brothers and sisters in the lodge, we have a little presentation. Charlie, if you don't mind coming on up. Uh, Jackie, would you come up? You want to take some No, you can take some picture. Thank you. Charlie. On behalf of the Sons of Italy of America, in particular, the Christopher Columbus Lodge in Brockton, number 216, we present this to Charles Tatalia in honor of the naming of the park on Warren Avenue and Bartlett Street, Charles Tatalia Park, on this day, June 21st, 2017. Charlie, congratulations. Well deserved. There you go, Charlie. Okay, you're very, very welcome. Hank, I gotta take Hank's picture down and put this one up. There you go. <laughs> it's gonna picture. Oh, Mark. Mark, you want a picture of Charlie? Jack, you get it going? Oh, Charlie's other side. Yeah. Congratulations, okay. Charlie. Thanks yeah. a lot. You're very, very welcome. Absolutely you. welcome. Thank you, guys. 
Now, at the risk of having this uh, ceremony run long, our next speaker will be Larry Siskind. But before we bring Larry up, today is a very special day, and we're very thrilled to have him here because today Larry is celebrating his 75th birthday today. So how about a nice recognition for Larry? So, Larry, why don't you come on up and make a few remarks? Just a few, Larry. Yeah. A few. A few, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you, so love you too. Thank you. This is a, just a great day. A uh, great day for the city, for family, for Brocktonians. Uh, Charlie, how do you, where are you? How do you pronounce your last name? Okay, all right. I've been going to George's my whole life. Now I'm 75. George's has been around for 80 years. And they're a phenomenal family. Phenomenal family. And I'm, I'm thinking that Charlie has sown his seeds well with all of his relatives who've done so many great things for the city and what have you. But I'm pleased to be able to talk about Charlie. <laughs> you know, the last time I the last time I was given a microphone was when Charlie was inducted by Brockton Hospital into their Hall of Fame. Wasn't that? Hall of Fame. And Bill said the exact same thing about me as he's saying tonight. Cut it short. <laughs> but I, I, I want I want to say that Charlie's biggest accomplishment is his dedication uh, to the Rocky Marciano statue in Rocky Marciano Park. Uh, he was the guiding force. He was the guiding force. I took my orders from Charlie. <laughs> That's right, I held the money, you're right. <laughs> but Charlie has done so many great things. He's been so kind to so many people. He's so well respected by so many people. And his food is okay. <laughs> but I want you to know that my proudest accomplishment in Brockton related to Charlie is I'm only one of two people that have a charge account there. <laughs> and I use it. No interest, no. <laughs> Charlie's daughter, Dee Dee, who's almost like a stepsister to me. Charlie's lovely wife is here. And uh, we've got Hank and we've got Louie. Uh, Louie and I and Hank, we played, we played Little League where the, uh, what's, what's over there now? The Dairy Queen. No, no producers dairy, right. And those were great days in our lives. They're wonderful people, wonderful family, wonderful contributors to everything that's important around here. And I'm very, very pleased and thrilled to be asked to speak. I almost didn't make it, but this lovely lady in the mayor's office picked me up, told me I must go, and I did. And uh, so this is uh, a real accomplishment. Uh, Many of you probably don't know about this park. I do. I had friends that were all across the street that I grew up with. And I used to be down here frequently chasing rabbits or whatever we used to do as kids. And to look at this park now compared to what it looked like many, many years ago is just remarkable. And it's a wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, contribution to the city and to hold it in the name of Charles Tatalia. I never knew his name. 
I never knew how to pronounce it. I never knew how to pronounce Louis or Hank. They were always the tots. <laughs> but in any event, the very best wishes uh, to Charlie, from my family, to everybody that's here, and I wish you well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Larry. I guess Larry's got to get to his own birthday party tonight, so he kept it shorter than usual. Uh, I did mention a little bit earlier the absence of our state legislative delegation, but uh, Al DiGirolamo from Senator Brady's office uh, is here to uh, present uh, a couple of things to Charlie on behalf of our delegation from the State House. Al, you want to come on up? Hi, I'm Al DiGirolamo from State Senator Brady's office, and this is Bridget Plouffe from, from Representative Cassidy's office. And again, like the mayor did, I'll give their apologies. They're in session today and they couldn't make it. Uh, and I'm sure Charlie will understand. But they did send citations from the delegation. And they read, and they read, be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to Charles, Charlie, all right, Charlie, how is it? Tataglia or Tataglia? <laughs> Either way. In recognition of your many contributions to the City of Champions and its residents, which is commemorated by the naming of Charles Tataglia Park. And it's signed by the, the President of the Senate, Stan Rosenberg, and Michael D. Brady's, I'm sorry, State Senator, and the House citation is identical, and it's signed by Speaker of the House, by Claire Cronin, by Michelle Dubois, and Jerry Cassidy. And also, uh, also Senator Brady sent along uh, a little thank you card for you, Charlie, which I'll give you today. But thanks to all of us for everything you've done for the city. Thank you, Al. Thank you, Bridget. <clears throat> so I, I just want to add my thoughts to those who have spoken just as how appropriate it is to name this, this park after Charlie, how appropriate it is to do it at this time. And, you know, we could spend a long time talking about all the various roles that Charlie has served in the city over the years, a city councilor, a park commissioner, uh, all his years serving uh, on the on the board at Massasoit Community College where he's been very generous to that institution and a great benefactor to the college. Um, I don't think anyone ever played ball at West Little League without knowing who Charlie was and, and his support there over the years and uh, just so many things but a couple just personally jump out to me Charlie and one is um, Scare my thoughts for a second. One is that uh, Larry Siskin just mentioned uh, the Rocky statue and how instrumental people just really need to know that how instrumental you were in getting that statue here. And I know Hank got his picture on the front page of the Herald, uh, but Charlie was really the guy fighting hard behind the scenes to make sure that that statue came to Brockton and didn't go to Boston where it was originally intended to go. And Larry and Charlie and I and so many others all worked together for a number of years before the statue finally became a reality. But the one constant through the whole process was Charlie and his support and how many meetings we had down at George's Cafe over a number of years. And, and just through a lot of faith and refusing to give up, that statue finally became a reality. And the park is being completed this year. And Charlie, I hope in addition to this park, you'll always look at that statue and that park and take a great source of uh, pride and accomplishment in that 
also because if not for you, that, that statue would not have happened here in the city or it would be located someplace else. It wouldn't be here in Brockton where it belongs. So the city owes you a great debt for that. And just a, a quick personal story. And Councilor DiNapoli was involved back at the time, but back about, I'd have to look at the calendar, but 16, 17 years ago, we were building a Little League field over on the east side, Nicholas Richardson Field, the Field of Dreams Fund. And we got the first phase done of the field, and we got the field open, and, and um, Dennis, you were very involved in that with us. Um, and then phase two came to build the building, and we wanted to have a snack bar and bathrooms, et cetera. And we raised some money. We got a lot of in-kind donations, but it came time to finally get a real snack bar and a real building for the Little League down there. And uh, some of us came to Charlie, and Charlie donated all kinds of restaurant equipment that went inside that snack bar that's still being used to this day, uh, 14, 15 years later. And I just think that really exemplifies what Charlie's all about because Charlie never asked for any recognition, never asked for us to put a plaque down there, didn't particularly want us to tell anybody where the equipment came from. He just wanted to make sure that the Little League had the equipment they needed to get a snack bar in that building down there. So, Charlie, I know that myself, the people at Downey, the Richardson family, uh, the Volta family, we've never forgotten uh, what that meant to that project. And I think that every person here probably has a similar story that they could tell about some organization or cause or family or individual that Charlie's helped out at one time or another. So that's, that's what this park is really about and why we're naming it after you, Charlie. So it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce uh, our guest honoree tonight, the guy the park is named after, Mr. Charlie Tartaglia. I'll have to lower this a little bit. I want to thank everybody that's here. A hot night tonight, but a breeze on the way. And I, I expressly would like to thank the, uh, the City Council, uh, Tom Monaghan, one father for pushing this through, and all the members of the Council, also the Mayor's Office, and also the great job that the Park Department did in this park on their supervision. And I'd like to thank them personally. I know how hard it is to, uh, to do the parks. The, the, the parks uh, is John Doggan here, uh, my friend, John Doggan. Uh, he used to get on the lawnmower down at Eggers Park and he'd mow the grass to keep it looking good. Uh, the park has been understaffed. There's just uh, not that much help up there. They got the golf course, they got the cemeteries, and they do a tremendous job in the city of Brockton. It's unbelievable the job they do that people that really don't know what they do. But other than that, I want to thank everybody for coming here today. I want to thank my wife, Penny, my daughter, Dee Dee. My two brothers, Hank and Louie, and we also have and my daughter-in-law that's here with her sons, Eric and Andrew, and all my in-laws and outlaws that are over here, the Nagel family, my son-in-law David, his daughter, uh, Rachel, and uh, I just would like to thank everybody, and I can't say enough about this park. It's gorgeous. I rode by it last night. The lights were on. It looked beautiful. And also, in the audience, as everybody knows, not probably everybody knows, we had four Charlie Tatalias. And I have one of them here now. He's my uncle, Charlie Tatalia. He's right over here. <laughs> and we both, we both had two sons who were named Charlie, and we're still here, and uh, God has got them upstairs. And I, I just can't thank everybody for coming here on a Friday night. It's unbelievable. And everybody, after this is over, I want you to all come up to George's Cafe. We have a little banquet for you and get something to eat. You won't have to go home hungry. So I want to thank everybody here. And if I missed anybody, I'm sorry. But thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Okay, so uh, before we head up to George's Cafe, we do have a very important piece of business to do. If we could all escort Charlie down to the front of the park, where we'll give him the opportunity to unveil the uh, sign, making this officially Charles Tatalia Park. Three, two, one. Thank you. 
guys all right in front of the sign. Let's go. Hey guys, I forgot to mention it earlier, but the plantings in these two planters were donated by the Brockton Garden Club. Oh. They came and put those in for you, and that was their donation. No, not easy. Yeah, you go across the street. Yeah.